Okay, so it is another dreary spring day in southern New England, and I wanted to speak to you today about water quality issues in ponds. Um, these are phone calls we're going to start getting daily now because we have just been so cool and dreary for so long that water quality is really starting to become a problem. Uh, think about it, uh, it is now mid-May, uh, late May, Memorial Day is right around the corner, and many times we're still wearing jackets. Uh, people are cold. Uh, if we're cold, then the water is cold. And uh, water quality is all about the beneficial bacteria. If the beneficial bacteria in your pond are happy and healthy, your pond is usually happy and healthy. And um, the bacteria just can't do the job well until that water gets to be around 65 degrees. And uh, since our temperature in the outside is barely 65 degrees, um, the water has just been lingering in the mid 50s for probably a month now. Uh, I almost say some areas the water was warmer in April than it is in May. Um, and, and I want to switch this over, I'm going to show you. Um, this is kind of what we're starting to see. Um, just murky water. Um, hard to tell on some of these spots, uh, but this particular pond, uh, the water is clear. I can see the bottom of the pond. Uh, I can see the river stone down at the bottom. Uh, the problem is it's just dark. And so um, we're getting reports of this all over the place. Um, and as I pull away here and you start to see, um, the cause of the problem is usually what's up above it. You can see all these uh, maple seeds are starting to fall off the trees. Um, some places are really having problems with caterpillars. This particular pond you can see, um, we have lots of tree coverage. So every time it rains, um, debris is falling out of these trees. Um, every time it rains, when we're getting heavy uh, rain, um, we're getting runoff from the landscapes. So if you're starting to notice murky water, uh, you want to determine whether it's green water or brown water. If it's brown water, you're most likely getting erosion from the landscape. Um, dirt is physically just getting picked up from the landscape and washed into your pond. Um, and until you put some mulch down or take care of the erosion problems, you're not going to go, uh, the murkiness won't go away. Um, in this particular case, these um, are more of tannins. Tannins are all the debris from the trees, whether it's old leaves or seed pods or anything, act just like tea. So when that debris collects in the pond, it actually starts to taint your water and turn it like tea color. Um, in this particular case, um, pretty confident that's what's going on here. I'm not seeing any signs of erosion. There's no signs of dirt. Um, but at the same time, there are pieces of these maple seeds all over the place. Uh, so we were out here anyway doing our weekly maintenance. And so the crew's just going to take some extra time, drain the ponds down, and um, get all that debris out of the pond. Um, but if this weather pattern doesn't change, um, it may come back. Um, we just need Mother Nature to warm up a little bit, let the water stay warm. And the best defense is for water quality is please don't overfeed your fish. If you have fish, um, the bacteria are what is cleaning the water for you. So stay on top of your beneficial bacteria treatments. Um, if you have an automatic dosing system that's treating the water for you, um, turn it up a couple notches. Just keep cranking the beneficial bacteria on your system and let Mother Nature run its course. Uh, once we warm up, if it doesn't start to clear up on its own, uh, then start addressing maybe some water changes um, and, and swapping the water out for fresh water. Uh, but right now, patience is a virtue. In this particular case, I know that we've got lots of maple debris uh, in the pond, so we're going to get that out and, and hopefully the weather breaks. Um, but if not, um, we may be back doing it again. Uh, in this particular case, uh, we just need Mother Nature to start cooperating, warm things up a little bit, and uh, let the water start to level off. And um, when you're doing it naturally and, and trying not to be chemically dependent for a pond, you, you've got to work with Mother Nature. And until she changes, uh, problem's not going away. Hope this helps, and um, give us a call if you have any problems with your ponds. Thank you.